We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And today is Sunday, January 18th. And right now I'm at one of my favorite farmer's markets. We're in Ojai, and I'm standing right in front of one of my favorite stands of, with my, one of my favorite, uh, favorite farmers, BD. And um, I'm gonna interview him. He has graciously let me do this, so. Hi, BD. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Great. Good. I love all your produce. It's amongst the best I've ever witnessed in my life. And everything is certified organic. That's right, by CCOF. By CCOF, wow. How long have you been doing this for? Well, I've been a member of CCOF at various farms since 1982, and I've been farming since the mid-70s. Wow, that's awesome. And I notice you have a lot of greens. Yeah, we have a lot of greens, a lot of them cultivated, a lot of them wild even. And uh, that's one of the things that I love growing because they're so healthy, people really appreciate it. And it's a health conscious time that we're in now, so as a shrewd marketing move, it's also the right thing to do in addition to helping our community stay healthy. Absolutely. I have a raw foods business and it's actually thriving right now during this time of economic depression, of what we call it. Um, but I noticed you have things like nettles and, and fenugreek greens and stuff like that. Are the nettles wild? I think those are the, awesome. The nettles are wild, and the fenugreek we plant, and then we've got a wild mustard that we have here today. And I strongly believe that the wild plants, the weeds that are growing in nature at the time of year that they're intended to grow, are the healthiest, because they're so dominant in the garden or in the fields that when they get into our system, they're also dominant, and they provide us with uh, resistance to disease and nutrition and vitality. So I'm a big proponent of eating weeds. Wow. And I mean, you look extremely healthy. And I mean, you've been farming for a long time. Can I ask how old you are by chance? I'm 58. 58. Wow. And um, I guess, can I ask you about your diet a bit? Are you, are you a raw food eater or? I, I eat a lot of raw foods, not exclusively, but I am a avid grazer. I love grazing and so when I'm out farming, I'm always breaking off different weeds, purslane during the summer, even raw nettles. If you're careful, you can eat it. And uh, that's coming up all year long in our garden. And uh, the mustards, anything I can find. Awesome, awesome. So, Cool. Well, thank you for providing us with this amazing nutrient-dense foods. It's Awesome, I'm about to go shopping here. All right, good, my pleasure. Okay, thanks, right, BD. <laughs> Here's BD's farm. I've actually been to his farm before, it's awesome. You, you guys had a party one time. And we're just yeah. gonna kind of graze all these amazing wild greens. The, the wild mustard. Yeah. And this one is a mild one, some of them are spicy. This one's loaded with vitamin A and calcium, iron, super healthy. I think I'm gonna have to get some. If I juice, can I juice that stuff? Yeah, you can juice it. It's not gonna burn? No, it's no. not a spicy one, it's a mild one. Oh, cool. So, and cool. you can just feel it. When you eat it and you start chewing it, it's just, you can feel it activating in your system. Can we go check out the nettles? Yeah. This is where I get my green ju greens to green juice from. It's they're absolutely amazing. These are the wild stinging nettles. Yeah. And they actually can be eaten raw if you're very careful. You just fold the leaves up and chew them that way. Most people get them to uh, make tea or soup, but um, they're good. They're not bitter. They're not spicy. They're not sour, they're just very green tasting. Wow. Loaded with chlorophyll. And can I get a, a, a what is it, a dollar a handful or yeah, something? Yeah, a dollar a handful. Yeah. Now I just use my bare hands to get them, but. That's crazy. So all those greens that you just put in that bag is only a dollar? Yep. I think I'll take three dollars worth. All right.
Unbelievable. And then these guys right here, this is fenugreek, right? That's fenugreek, yep. And this could be juiced? That can be juiced, definitely. Very healthy. You know what, I'll, t I'll take five of those. Oh, okay, I'll put those <laughs> in a separate bag. Okay. <laughs> I'm so set here. This is, this is where I get my juice and greens. And we've got, his herbs are amazing too. We've got dill, which is very mucus cutting and cilantro and parsley. Yeah. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm about to start a juice fast. And I just came across this booth. Persimmons are going out of season right now. And this, this booth has ripe, ripe persimmons, like ready to go right now. What's a man to do? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a bunch of these because this is probably the last week they're ever gonna be here. They're ripe and sugary as can be. And I'm gonna throw them in the refrigerator. They last in there forever. So I'm gonna buy like, I'm gonna have a persimmon feast when I'm done with this juice feast. So, um, hey, excuse me. Is, can I film you real quick? I'm, wait, how many more weeks of persimmons are left? This is it. This is the last week, huh? No more. I'm gonna have to buy you guys up. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go buy some persimmons. Norma, we are filming live at the farmer's market in Ojai. Hi, Matt. Hi. Hey, I'm going on a juice fast and I want to get a, a flat of sunflower greens. Oh, I have a flat for you. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty good looking one. It is. I wanted to cut it and sell it. I'm going to take it. How much does that cost? $12 for you. $12 for me. Who needs to go to the farmers? I mean, who needs to grow sprouts when you can just go to the farmers market and get all these wonderful sprouts? Two. How long have you been doing this for, Norma? Twelve years. Twelve years. Twelve years. Yep. And your dad is the owner of the business. Yes. And he, how did? Why is he into this sort of thing? He's he's a raw food eater, right? Yes. He actually got diagnosed with cancer about twelve years ago, and he decided to eat sprouts, and now he decided to grow them for people. Oh wow! And he healed himself from cancer. Yes, from he's still alive. Cool. Um, chemotherapy. And he's 100% raw. Does he ever slip up or anything like that? Yes. When he's with the grandkids, he has bad days and then he feels crappy. Don't like that, huh? No. Uh. Tell him no. Well, that's cool. You guys are making wheatgrass and other fun things over there. This is so cool. All these amazing sprouts, fenugreek. Cool. Thanks, Norma. I'm gonna take that flat and pay 20, 12 bucks. Twelve dollars. And I'm in trouble because I'm trying to go on this juice fast and we it's the end of the season and they're like ripe as can be. Like they'll, they'll just break and pour out sweetness all over the place. <laughs> These persimmons are so ripe and ready and this is the end of them. No more, gone. So I'm gonna have to buy, I'm gonna definitely gonna have to buy some of these. Well, I'm gonna finish my shopping here. Very exciting. Um, and I'm going to get to juicing. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.